Hi, I'm Deidre Huey, and it's time to kick your stuck to the curb with another episode of Bold Breakthroughs. <laughs> you to stop saying yes when you want to say no. I want you to imagine the following scenario with me. You're driving home after staying late at work again because, you know, someone has to get that report done. So you pull into your driveway thinking about all the different places that your kids have to be. You look in the mirror and you see your neighbor walking towards your car, waving. Oh, you think to yourself, it's not that you don't like your neighbor, because you do. It's just that you're not feeling real friendly and not having a whole lot of energy left after your day. Your neighbor proceeds to ask you to watch their dog this weekend. And you think to yourself, man, do they ever ask any of their other neighbors or friends? But you swallow your desire to say, no more. And instead, you sweetly smile and you say, sure. Your neighbor tells you, you know, you're the best and goes back home. You smile with satisfaction for a brief moment, turn, and then feeling totally defeated, you walk into your house. Does that sound familiar? Unfortunately, this scene or similar scenes are played out every single day. Maybe this is what every day looks like for you. I hope not. But if it is, are you ready to change it? If you're a people pleaser, saying yes when you really mean no or want to say no, you're adding additional stress to your life on a regular basis. But how can you say no and not feel guilty? So I'm going to help you to understand how you can assertively say no without that guilt. Typically, there are four reasons that people say yes when they really mean no. Reason number one, seeking approval. Now, this is more likely to happen when you don't have a deep-rooted understanding of your own self-worth. Now, don't get me wrong. Wanting to be liked is not a bad thing. Without some measure of wanting to seek approval from your fellow man, the world would be in constant chaos from the conglomeration of self-serving zombies. So that's not what I mean. It's good to be liked and want to be liked. But if you allow your value and worth to be completely dependent on what other people think, then you create a void in your life. You create a black hole that is constantly seeking approval from other people. And in this constant effort of seeking approval, it leaves little to no time to take care of yourself. Because, well, taking, your, taking care of yourself doesn't deliver this, any sense of self-worth anymore. See the problem? So here's the fix. One, spend time getting to know who you are. It's worth it. Two, accept who you are, and love. Three, love who you are. You are a special, amazing person. Take some time and figure it out. The second reason you say yes when you want to say no is the superwoman complex. This happens when you're unrealistic about your own personal limits. You think you can do it all, or it can't get done well unless you get it done. Well, that's just plain crazy and a little arrogant. You can't do it all. You're not meant to do it all. And usually, doing it all means that you leave taking care of yourself out of the equation. If you do take care of yourself, it's only sometimes, or if there's time. So how's that working out for you? My guess is not well, so here's the fix. One, look at the obligations you're currently committed to and write them down. Two, if needed, break these into smaller tasks. Three, add time in that list to take care of yourself. Four, prioritize the list. Five, decide if there's something that needs to go away and set limits for yourself. It's time to leave Superwoman in the cartoons and instead become a woman who is super. The third reason you say yes when you really want to say no is that you have unclear priorities. If you're looking at everything in your life with the same measure of importance, at some point, you will say yes and default on something that's truly important to you and to someone you love. And that's another problem. So here's the fix. One, decide on what it is that you will not compromise. Two, make a promise to yourself and to the other person involved that you won't break that trust. Three, only break it in a clear emergency. Sometimes you'll have those. This will help you to have a greater sense of yourself, help you to have more confidence 
and it's going to help other people to value you as well. Now finally, another reason that you say yes when you really want to say no is when you're doing for others what they can do for themselves. Now I understand this is really similar to the superwoman complex, but the main difference is the reason behind saying yes. Saying yes here is typically more about caring. You care about your child, so you clean up their room, you make their lunch, you clean up after them, etc., etc. Now I put caring in quotes because this isn't necessarily caring, especially if you're not teaching your child to take care of themselves. It doesn't necessarily have to involve a child, okay? You may be doing things for a friend that they can absolutely do for themselves and should do for themselves. So here's the fix. One, change your definition of the word care. Two, recognize that sometimes caring is letting go and teaching instead. Three, allow people to take personal responsibility and give them a chance to grow. To wrap things up, if you have a great sense of self-worth, have your priorities straight, understand and accept your personal limits, and let others take care of what they should be, you'll have a much easier time saying no and not feeling guilty at all. Allow yourself to be more assertive. It's okay. I hope that resonates with you and helps you to start making some changes in your life. If this did impact you, or if you have anything to add, please leave a comment below on my blog. I would love to hear from you. Again, this has been Deidre Huey with your bold breakthrough for the week. Take care.